Now, there are a lot of factors that can increase your risk of getting high blood pressure, such as stress, family history, or just not getting enough exercise. What you may not realize is that poor oral hygiene can also increase your risk of hypertension. Roland Rodriguez is visiting the dentist this morning and joins us now live. And Roland, I'm curious here, are there, are there some ways to get this under control? Hi, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. Many people think that dentists are only interested in teeth and gums. It's hard to believe or the idea of a dentist asking you about your high blood pressure or even your health history may surprise you. Struggling to bring your high blood pressure under control, even with the help of medication, the state of your mouth can say a lot about your general health. A strong association between hypertension and gum disease in the sense that some people who have an oral health have a lower blood pressure than those who do not have good oral health. You will see that their blood pressure will be higher. Patients with hypertension and inflamed gums are 20% less likely to have their blood pressure in a healthy range. So signs of gum disease would be puffy gums, red bleeding gums, the gum tissue receding, like show your roots getting exposed, pain, even loosening of the teeth can be a result of that, and even pus can be a result of a sign of gum disease. 75 million Americans have high blood pressure, increasing the risk of other serious health problems. Well, we're seeing a strong association between several metabolic diseases like uh, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, which is related to hypertension. So hypertension is a big, big problem in that it's a leading cause of cardiovascular disease, blood vessel disease, which results can result in heart attack and strokes. There's a lot to be said for a healthy mouth. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, only 54% have their high blood pressure under control from medication, exercise, diet, or a combination an infectious disease that actually becomes, gets into your bloodstream from the bacteria entering into that. And there's this inflammatory response. So uh, that is a, the hypothesis as to why all this is happening to the body. And the best way to prevent, prevent gum disease is practicing good oral hygiene. 